from Crema Media in Johannesburg, this is The Real Economy Report. Africa's largest food processing company, Tiger Brands, has unveiled a new peanut butter manufacturing facility for its Black Cat brand in Krugersdorp, which marks the single largest capital investment that Tiger Brands has undertaken in South Africa. Malene Arnoldi visited the site. Having moved from its prior facility in Randfontein, Tiger Brands invested 300 million rand in a new facility that offers more space, increased peanut processing capability, and better research and development capability to improve its products. The facility produces an average 1 million jars of peanut butter a month, which includes its mainstream peanut butter variety that contains 91% peanuts, sugar, salt and stabilizer, as well as the no added sugar and no added salt variety, which contains 99% peanuts. The company procures between 10,000 and 20,000 tons of ground nuts every year, with about 70% of these nuts being sourced locally. Tiger Brands culinary MD Dumo Mfini explains the company ensured uninterrupted production throughout the move. He tells us more about the facility's increased capabilities for research, flexible packaging and peanut processing. I was part of the guys that actually negotiated in 2001 this facility. It used to be owned by a company that cleaned nuts and sold them as, 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 as actually raw nuts. Um, so we actually gained that equipment. We never had that equipment. Uh, at our old facility. Now we, can, we have got a capability of cleaning, so we can buy, uh, call it dirty nuts, and clean it ourselves, so we've got that capability. Also, we had an old roaster that was 40 years old. Um, it still works fine and it's been maintained well. However, we're able to add a new one uh, in, in this facility. And the facility here came with a lab as well that we didn't have. We won't rely uh, to, to do uh, positive release on our internal lab, but it helps us to actually uh, subsidize what we're getting from an external lab before we release any product uh, for quality purposes and safety. The other capability that we didn't have, so as I say, it's, it, there is, we've always wanted to launch other types of uh, packaging, so this, this investment helps us to also have the capability of, if we wanted to, to go PET. So all our competitors out there, and no, none of them is in, is in class, so we are the only ones in class. And class, uh, unfo unfortunately, is expensive and makes the, the product less affordable. So it's one of the areas. Uh, but uh, as we're walking here, we have seen as well, even our mixing stations, it gives us an opportunity now in terms of play around with recipes in order to, to get a recipe that's acceptab acceptable to our consumer. Uh, so we've got that capability now that we didn't have before. Black Cat Peanut Butter was first launched in 1926 and has grown to be one of the best selling brands in the market with 5 million kilograms sold every year in formal retail stores. With consumers wanting more affordable and healthier food options, Tiger Brands plans to tweak its peanut butter recipe and packaging to ensure the best price point for consumers. Tiger Brands CEO Chort Krier explains the group-wide drive to make products more affordable. It's like in the whole, the whole group, in the whole of Tiger, we, we've got a big drive now to get products more affordable to our customers. So, um, and, and this plant is actually the first one that enables us to do that. So, the, the two big issues is, is packaging, where we're very expensive in glass, so we've got the flexibility to pack in PET or in plastic. And the second thing is the ability to, to re-engineer your recipes. Um, and this plant gives us that ability to, to re-engineer recipe and then be able to pack that re-engineered recipe so to get your price points down. And that's, that's a big drive for us in the whole business is to make our products more affordable to our consumers because our consumers are under pressure, the economy is struggling, real income hasn't really grown over the last number of years. Um, and, and as you've heard this morning, our product is, at least five of our products are probably in every house in the country. Um, so the consumers are dependent on us to, to, to support them in terms of being delivering affordable food. So that's a, a group drive that, that we have in Tiger. That's Crema Media's Real Economy Report. Join us again next week for more news and insights into South Africa's real economy. And don't forget to listen to the audio version of our engineering news daily email newsletter.